Winning an offshore classic such as the Rolex Sydney Hobart Yacht Race can be a lifetime in the planning and execution. Two years ago in 2017, Matt Allen, owner and skipper of the 52-foot Ichiban, realised a 30-year dream. And in 2019, that impressive achievement has seemingly become habit, as overnight it became clear that Ichiban's corrected time of 3 days, 4 hours, 11 minutes and 5 seconds could not be beaten by any of those still at sea. Winning this year's race in my 30th race to Hobart and the 75th you know, really brings a lot of history for me together. Memories of all the people I've sailed with over those 30 races, all the experiences we've had you know, in Sydney, in Hobart and on the way during the race. This year's win really affirms you know, all what we've put into this boat, you know, design-wise, putting the best crew on board and winning it two out of three years with this boat is a unique achievement and vindicates, I think, our earlier thinking of putting this boat together in this way and putting the best crew we could find anywhere in the world on board. Rolex's affinity with human accomplishment dates back to the very origins of the company. A long-term supporter of sailing, it shares the perpetual quest for excellence so evident within the sport. In winning the 75th edition of the Rolex Sydney Hobart Yacht Race and lifting the Tattersall Cup for a second time, Alan and his crew join an elite group whose dedication and passion is beyond reproach and as enduring as this great race itself.